One day, my friends, and I went to the beach to hang out. The water on the beach was so calm and inviting, so we decided to swim. One of my friends had a small paddle boat, Saka Yan in Visaya. The small paddle boat could carry up to three people. We took turns to use the small paddle boat, one or two people at a time to avoid overloading it. Suddenly, the weather had changed, from being calm to windy. The water current had badly changed too. We noticed that one of our friends, Choi, on the small paddle boat was carried away from the shore. We knew that he was not good in using the paddle boat. What's going on? My friends shouted. He could not hear us due to the wind. We just realized that the beach was close to the small river. The water current had become a little stronger. My friends shouted and shouted, but still he could not hear us. Choi still could not manage to paddle towards the shore. I was on the cottage talking to my other friends during that time, then we heard people screaming. Something was not right on the shore. I asked what's going on. They told me what happened. I looked at the sea and saw the small paddle boat going farther to the middle of the ocean. Without second thought, I ran to the shore and swam towards my friend, Choi. I knew I could swim very well because I grew up close to the seashore. Swimming was just a game growing up. I swam as much as I could. The current was getting stronger. It drained my energy. I felt tired right away. My friends on the shore were shouting with fear. I look around and I notice that the current went on different direction, so I was swimming against it. Swimming against the water current was hard and tiring. Water current got faster and faster since he was close to the river mouth. He has pushed to the middle of the ocean. I got an idea. I went to the other direction. I swam faster until I reached the paddle boat. When Choi saw me, he gave a faint smile, but you could tell that he was so scared. He was relieved. I hopped in and paddled the boat away from the mount of the river. The weather was still bad and current was still strong so, I paddled slowly. Choi was just bracing himself. He couldn't say a word. Slowly but surely, we reached the shore where our friends were waiting and cheering. We made it. Later. We continued playing but not with the boat again. The End Thank you for watching.